got eyebrows. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, y'all. I've been suffering from a sore throat for the past week and a half now. The weird thing is it actually went away and came back like two days later. So hopefully it's just allergies and I don't have some illness that I should be taking care of. I haven't posted on YouTube in quite some time and that is because I've been posting videos on my IGTV, which if you guys don't already know, I have a fair following on Instagram and that's where most of my followers are. So it's been a lot more engaging to post on there. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me right now. However, I don't want to totally forget about YouTube because this is actually a pretty cool platform. And I'm going to be honest, I like filming videos in the horizontal form, so hello. If you want to skip my whole chit chat bit of this video, I will have in the description down below the time that you can skip to to watch the haul. Some quick life updates before we get into the video. First of all, I have eyebrows now and it's not just makeup. I got microblading done and I have not gotten the touch up done yet, but my real eyebrows end like here. They're thin and just not all there. It's something that I didn't realize was an insecurity of mine until two years ago when I competed for Miss Nevada. At the time, I guess eyebrows were probably a thing on YouTube or something. So when I got to my makeup artist, I said, hey, can you do my eyebrows? And he was like, are you sure? Because I guess most people who do their eyebrows on a daily basis already have something specific that they do. But for me, I don't actually like makeup. I just wear it to feel better about myself. So I was like, do whatever you want. And he put them all nice, thick and long and I loved it. So ever since then, I have been filling my eyebrows in and extending them with makeup on my own, which I'm not a makeup artist and I don't like makeup. So honestly, they were so uneven most of the time. Sometimes they'd be super thick thick and I looked really crazy. Hashtag my first trip to Erie. But thankfully I did a lot of research and I looked into microblading and I got it done. I'll have all of that information in the description below because that's not what this video is about. But I love them. I wake up like this. I can rub them. I can scratch them. I can get them wet. They're not gonna smudge or leave my face and I love it. Second life update, I renewed my lease at this lovely apartment here in Nevada. It is currently the nicest, cheapest place for me to live that I feel safe. I was considering, highly considering moving, but housing market is just booming right now. So rent prices are kind of crazy compared to like two, three years ago. Life update number three. In my last video, I mentioned that I did a program called First Step at my church. Missed my graduation, so I graduated with some random people. I've been going to a woman's group, which is like a community group at church where you just go over little pieces of stories in the Bible week by week and discuss things with each other and keep up with each other and hang out with each other, support each other. So that's been so much fun for me. And I was actually supposed to volunteer at the church today in the child care, but since I was sick, I chose not to because I don't want to get a bunch of little babies sick. If you stayed through all of that chit chat, thank you so much for caring about me. As y'all know, I am really into what I call boutique style fashion, just really feminine styles. This company, Shop Priceless, found me, reached out to me, wanted to do a partnership with me. So I took a look at their website and they had so much super cute stuff and I only had very limited amount of things to choose from and I was so sad because all of their stuff looked so cute, totally my style. I was able to pick out three items. For those of you who don't know me well, a lot of people refer to me as a very princessy, feminine type person. I love dresses and skirts. I hate pants. I can't stand them, but I have to wear them sometimes. Sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's just inappropriate to wear a dress. So I decided to take this opportunity to get a pair of pants that are like trendy that people who are not stuck in a fairy tale world wear. So the first thing I got is this yellow romper which actually just looks like a dress. It's not one of those ones where it's like shorts in the back or anything. The shorts are just underneath like that. The quality is actually really good. I'm looking at the stitching right now. There's no loose threading or anything. It's done very well. Has some good stretch to it. This is a size small and I'm always the extra small small. I like things that are stretchy because a girl's gotta eat. 
I also love the thickness of the chest area. I hate wearing bras. I don't even own a real bra. I just like what's going on naturally. Ah! It's so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. And the straps fit perfectly. They're not adjustable. I'm five foot three, but if anyone for modeling ass, I'm five foot five. This fits perfect. Oh my god. This is gonna be my new favorite dress. Mark my word, you're gonna see this on Instagram way too many times. I love this. And you see, I was nervous about this little cutout, but it's not big at all. I don't think it's inappropriate. I feel like such a little southern princess right now. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, now the second thing I got is the jeans I was talking about. And I just never, I'm not a pants person, but I think these are in style, so I'm gonna try to make them work. They are a skinny fit, and I really love the hem. It's distressed on purpose, which I don't know why. I kind of think it's cute. It's kind of like farmer girl chic. And then it has these pre-made holes in them, which I'm always one of those people that I'm like, why do people buy pants with holes? But at the same time, I kind of think it's cute. So I went ahead and bought them, and then the back is just plain. And then to go with the pants, I just went ahead and picked out this plain white t-shirt which is oversized and actually super duper comfy. I honestly just want to sleep in this. It's so soft. Outfit number two, this t-shirt is so comfortable. I want like five of them. Are y'all ready for the jean reveal? So here they are. Do y'all have any clue how hard it is to get pants on with this many holes? My feet and my toes went in just about every other hole except the ankle hole all this talk about holes is getting kind of weird gonna stop now with this top i could either tie it like that hmm. that's actually pretty cute what do y'all think i love jeans that hit me like right around the belly button i actually think they're super cute and you know what it's summer it's hot maybe it's good for your legs to breathe a little bit I actually like, you know what, this is a great skateboarding outfit. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 would recommend everything. I want you guys to leave comments down below if you liked these jeans on me, or if you think I should just stick with dresses, or maybe jeans that just don't have holes in them. Let me know what you think down below. I want more of everything, to be honest with you. Please give me a whole lot of thumbs up, share this video, give me like 500,000 views. That way they'll send me more and more and more. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with everything. I didn't think I would like jeans and a t-shirt this much, but it fits me very well and it's so comfy and this was so comfy and it's so cute and I'm gonna wear it for Easter and every day before Easter and every day after Easter. Is it weird that this outfit makes me want to like learn to break dance or hip hop dance or something? A little bit. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And check the description for links because I'm going to have a whole blog post about this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I hope you all had a great Easter weekend because I'm pretty sure I'm going to post this after Easter. Stay blessed, be a blessing to others, and I'll see y'all in the next video. This shirt is just so comfy. I just want to like give people hugs.